Alrighty, everybody. So welcome back to another video. And as y'all seen in the last video, I asked y'all, what do y'all, what would y'all think if I made that little pond, a bait pond? And so now y'all thought the idea was great. And so now it is time. We're here at the fish hatchery. And we're gonna make this pond a bait pond. This would be cool. One day having a big old just fish hatchery it would be pretty awesome. We are now going to be headed back to the house and we're going to put these guys in the water, get them acclimated to it, and release them in this pond. All right, we made it back to the house. You know, there's a few dead ones in there in the minnows, but bluegill looking good, looking good. Everything is looking good. So now it is time we are going to go uh, load these guys up in the old side by side and head out to the pond and put them in the pond. We gotta get them acclimated first, then we're gonna go and throw them in the pond. So let's do the dang thing. Alrighty, we're here at the pond and now it is time to get these fish acclimated to the water. And uh, this, all you do for this part is all you do is go and uh, just set the bags in the water and they'll get acclimated. So, sit them in there for just a few minutes. Then you are good to go and cut the bag and let them go. So, walking down here right now. Here are the triploids. Carp right there. Let's set them there. Set him in there just like that. All right. all right, we got all four bags in the water. So now it is time we wait a little bit and um, let them get acclimated. But while we are waiting, I'm gonna talk to y'all, tell you the reasoning if you haven't watched the last video on why we're putting bait fish in this pond. So, this is our little pond that we call a little pond on the top 40. So, this pond goes, it's, just, it's a little littler pond, but it grows up with a bunch of different vegetations like lily pads, some sort of grass, and so it gets covered in the winter or in the summertime grows up with grass you came in like it's not usable there's no fish in here or nothing and so this runs in there's an overflow right back here and it runs into our big bass pond so i am going to stock this pond today with these bait fish and with those triploid carp triploid carp would help tremendously on keeping the vegetation down same with the bluegill same with the minnows they will all just chew down or chow down on all that vegetation so it's like a win-win you put the bait fish in here they'll eat all the vegetation and they'll also be good bait fish for the big bass in the other pond so we're gonna put them in here and they are gonna reproduce there's no predator fish in here at all so they're gonna reproduce 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 there's plenty of structure for them to reproduce um, and so eventually I like to get to the point where all we had to do is come down here with the cast net throw a cast net in here get a buttload of bait fish run it back over to the big bass pond throw them in there and just have that constant movement of bait fish um there's like a natural spring that does flow into this pond a uh, big oak creek that flows in as well uh, never runs out of water in the summertime uh, we are going to put a feeder on it eventually i'll have to get on amazon or something and look at a feeder for them and these would be pellet trained it'd be cool to come out here and uh, have pellets land on the water and the fish just go down and chow on them um, but I will eventually put tilapia in here. Um, it is a little too early. You put them in at about May time. It's too early for them right now. So I'm not worried about that at all. We'll go back out there to Morris Fish Farm and get some tilapia. We got a couple more minutes till we can go and let these bait fish loose. But I am excited. I am quite excited to see what we can make this pond. Um, I plan on going and like making it nice or looking, getting the skids through down here, cleaning it up. Um, just making it a nice little bait pond. Maybe putting some flat fours, make it look good and pretty. Uh, make there some like koi or goldfish in here as well, just to see like an orange fish go by or a white fish, just for fun. Um, it's gonna be a little fun pond. So I'm excited. 
I am quite excited. I don't know if y'all can see those, there's little bugs landing on top of the water all throughout there. That's going to be good for the bluegill and the minnows. Them bugs are going to go up the top of the water and you're going to see those bluegills and minnows start just chowing down on them. Um, I am going to catch a buttload of bait fish too by hand. Um, and I'm not going to buy everything but I'm going to catch stuff too and uh, that's going to help out a lot. I plan on catching golden shiners, throwing them in here, uh, catching more bluegill, throwing them in here, just catching a whole bunch of tough stuff and throwing them in here as well. So I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. All right, everybody, it is time to release these fish. So we're going to start with the trapwood carps. They're the biggest ones, so I like to see these ones go off. We're just going to kind of let them go. Yeah, the trapwoods. Maybe. Y'all want to know what a tripoid carp looks like? Oh, that's okay. I it oh, I still got all three of them, but that's what the tripoid carps look like. Triploid. They are funky looking things. These are the carps that do not reproduce, so we would not have to have or worry about having a carp problem in our ponds. I'm gonna grab these guys out. Triploid carp number one. That one has a scar on it. We're gonna name him Scarry. There it goes. Okay, this one, boy or girl, I don't know. This one's gonna be Jennifer. Let her go. That looks so sick in the water. There she is. Sun's off. Now for the last one. This one's gonna be Fred. Fred's pretty cool. There he goes. All right, all of the triploid carps are released. All right, here we go. We're going to release these guys. There goes the blue tail. There they go. There's one lingering in here. These are going to be the cool ones. Because these guys are just going to about to go off and they're going to start breaching on the surface. A couple more in there. There they go. You can see them all swimming off. All right, there they go. You can kind of see them all going off. There are going to be some dead ones, but that is just part of it. Um, I think there might be a turtle or two in here, so the turtles will chow down on them and uh, keep them good raccoons or something too. But hey, look at that. We have stocked our bass pond. I am excited. We have our bass pond, or this is actually our bait pond. We got our bait pond stocked with bait fish now. This is sweet. This is sweet. This is the beginning. We're going to just constant, constant, constantly just be putting in bait fish after bait fish after bait fish. So this pond has many more videos left on it. But I am pumped. I am pumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so y'all go drop some comments down below on what else I should put in this bait pond. What bait fish would y'all recommend to put in here? I just did my two favorites, bluegill and minnows. Y'all gotta drop some comments down below. We are also gonna put in some shiners in here, tilapia, like I said, soon. Um, but hey, there is the bait pond. But thank y'all so much for tuning in on this video. Please give a big like, subscribe for more videos on the old bait pond. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. And peace.